Hello everyone, Hells here. Dark Visions is back, so we're going to take a look at Area 1, which is the only area unlocked so far. Alright, so we have Physical Fire for the first fight. So the team we're going in with. We have Lucas, he's going to imbue the two chainers with fire. His gear shouldn't really matter, because we're going to go for a one turn kill on all of Area 1, really. But he's just got some spirit and survival gear. Sylvie's going to buff for us. Her gear shouldn't matter too much either, but she's uh, full of evade, draw attacks, build, with a little bit of health and uh, spirit and defense. Kryla is here to break and scan. This is our first look at everything, so I want to add everything to the book. So she's just spirit based. Carton's going to act as a finisher a little bit. So we can only imbue two, so he's got a fire dagger. Everything else is boosting attack and undead killer. Elena's going to AR chain. So just a good amount of attack on her. Rora Frivia is going to be her chaining partner. Good attack on her. Alright, let's take a look at fight number one. Alright, so Lucas, add fire to Elena, add fire to Shrivia. So we're going to Calamity to break, Scry to scan it. And really, I mean... Actually, I can. So, 200 buff everybody. Give 300% buff to Carton. Other than that, her third cast doesn't really matter. So, we're going to have him rampage, just kind of finish her in there. They're going to triple cast AR. And we're going to see what kind of damage we pull out. Oh, we broke a hundred chain. So we didn't cap out damage. And we didn't cap out effective attacks. So there's two things that we could improve on that one. So, second fight, we're doing Magic Dark. Being able to save sets is so nice now. Alright, so for a Dark team, Kryla's here to break and scan again. So she's got just her spirit gear. Dr. Aiden is going to buff, imbued dark, and imperil dark. He's just spirit based. Ellie is going to act as a finisher. Her new enhancements give her the ability to do a physical magic attack with one of her cooldowns, 40x mod. So we gave her some physical killers and a bunch of magic. And then our dual guardians are going to pretty much be a secondary chainer finisher with their Magnus ability. So they're built around spirit, 
with some killers as well. And Elena is going to be a Archena for us. So she's got her decent magic build. And Frivia going to be a Archena as well. So let's see how flight number two looks. For the most part, I think all of area one is just going to get one shot. Okay, so. Brew for breaks. And scry to scan one. Alright, so Dr. Aiden. Buffs. And Dark and Buin and Peril. So she's going to use that. We're going to let them use Magnus. And we're going to triple cast AR. Okay, let's see how well I pull this off. Well, chain's nice. Alright, so damage is not capped. So for that one there, it's just damage that didn't get capped. Not bad. Okay, so third quest. We're going with physical lightning. Alright, so the team we got here, Crowley is still here, the break and scan. Same gear as all the other times, spirit based. Sylvie's here to buff and do some imbuing. She's got her same draw attacks evasion build. Carton's here to act as a finisher. We won't be able to imbue everybody, so he's got a lightning weapon this time. And he's got some stone killers. Regina is going to act as a finisher. We gave her a lightning gun because she won't be able to get imbued. And as much attack and stone killer as I could give her. Elena is going to act as a Chena. So she's just got a bunch of attack and magic. And Frivia is going to be chaining partner. So she's just got a bunch of attack. So we're going to brew and scan. And Sylvie. I'm going to add lightning to Elena and Frivia. And then just do 200% buffs to everybody. Carton is going to ready Frenzied. Regina is going to stack up for move. And then we're going to triple cast AR. Okay, so we're going to start Regina first.
So the only thing that's not capped there is damage. Which, if I'm not worried about scanning them for the book on the first run, we can definitely change a couple of things and up that. Alright, so we got fight number four. This one is Magical Fire. Okay, so going in, Crowley is still here to break and scan. Same gear as all the other times, Spirit Beast. Sylvie, same gear. Evasion Provoker. She's going to buff. Lucas is here to fire and view too. So he's just got his survival gear. Roy is going to act as a finisher. Gave him a bunch of attack and some beast killer. Elaine is going to AR chain for us. It's a decent magic. And we got Aurora Frivia, her chaining partner. Okay, so there's two of these. Okay, so. We'll brew and scan. So 200% buffs, we'll do a bigger buff to Roy, and I guess she can lower physical. And we're going to add fire to Elena and Frivia. Okay, so we're going to start Roy first, and then we'll start the chain. Alright, so we actually maxed out damage on that one. So we get a perfect score on fight number four. Not bad on that one. Alright, so final fight for area one. This one is physical dark. So we have Dr. Aiden, he's going to buff Imbue Dark and Imperil Dark. He's just got his spirit gear on. Crowley is still here, break and scan. First run through on everything. Carton's going to act as a bit of a finisher. We got a bunch of attack and spirit killer on him. Regina's going to act as a finisher as well. So she's got a bunch of attack and spirit killer. Elaine is going to chain for us. She's got decent attack, and Frivy is going to be her chaining partner, and she also has decent attack. Alright, so let's take a look at this one. Alright, 
Alright, so let's buff up. Imbued Dark and Imperil Dark. Do Brew for Breaks. Scry to Scan. Cartan's going to Rampage. Regina is going to stack up her move. And Elena and Frivia just going to triple cast AR. So we'll start Regina first, and then we'll hit our chainers. Yeah, we broke our chain in there, unfortunately. So that's not going to be a capper. Oh, we capped out damage, though. So yeah, the only thing, if we didn't break the chain... We would have actually had a perfect run on this one, too. Not too bad overall. I do like that they changed out the turns. It'd be really nice if they changed out the chain, though. Because it's still limiting. Needing 100 chain to max that out. So, first look at everything. Not a bad place to end up, just over a thousand. A few things we can clean up now that I don't have to add them to the book, and we've already seen everything. But that's our first look at Area 1 of Run Number 3 of Dark Visions, so that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed.